AI agents with reasoning. Now they can think like humans. The future is here. Autonomous problem solving, multi-step logical reasoning, and human-like decision making. Previously for doing a task, it is rule-based responses, limited understanding, and basic automation. But now we have true reasoning, deep comprehension, and intelligent decisions. Meet our AI agents team. First we got the web scraper, then URL data extractor, then the blog writer agent, powered by Prezen AI agents. We will be also seeing about system operations agent, which can perform multiple tasks with deep reflection with multiple cycles. And the complex steps looks like this. So you can add your list and this agent is going to perform one by one. At the end, you'll get a summary report. The amazing thing about this is that if any error happens at any stage, it can reason through that error and provide alternate solution to fix that error. And I'm going to teach you how you can do it. I'll provide all the code in the description for free so you can download and start running it. This is the time to create AI agents, to solve complex tasks and to stay ahead of the game. Here's the system administrative agent which is going through step by step and here you can see there is an error. So it is going to reflect on its own error and it's fixing it. And finally, it is able to run the code. That is super cool. And I'm going to teach you how this reasoning is working so you can try this. Let's get started. Creating AI agents is super simple. Just these three commands. If you don't want to do any coding, so pip install Prezen AI, export open AI API key, and then Prezen AI auto. But now we are going to add reasoning to it. To do that, we are going to use coding. It's just three simple steps. One is importing agent task and Prezen AI agents, then defining the list of agents with agent class. Then step number two, defining task, what that agent should be doing. And finally, call the agents class and run the agent. That's it. But the key change which we are going to do for the agent is that minimum reflect and maximum reflect. So this agent that is system operations specialist agent is tasked to do totally six tasks. So it requires a minimum of six times reasoning to go through step by step. And if any error happens, it's going to add few more steps. So that is a key difference compared to running any other agents. So first, we are going to create system operations agent going to perform six tasks at the same time. We are going to perform these three simple steps. First, to create tools, then create AI agents, and then create task and assign those tasks to those agents. Similarly, assign tools to those agents. So first step, pip install Prezen AI and then click enter. Next, exporting your OpenAI API key like this. In my previous tutorial, I've explained how you can use Olama, Grok, or any other models instead of ChatGPT. I'll put the link in the description. So after this, click enter. Here, I'm going to use GPT-40. Now I'm going to create a file called app.py and going to open it. So inside the app.py file, first from Prezen AI agents, import agent, task, and Prezen AI agents. After that, importing sub process and OS. So the first step is to create tools. So I'm going to create a run terminal command tool. This will use sub process Python package to run commands so that it can analyze the information about the computer. That is the work of system operations agent. So next we are going to add another tool, which is to save to file. So once after it collects all the information, that data will get saved to file. So to add tools to AI agents, just create a function and tell what the function is like this. As simple as that. There's nothing complicated. Now step number two, creating agent. So in the file, I'm going to create system operations agent. The agent name is system ops. You are an expert system administrator. And here I'm providing minimum reflection and maximum reflection. So this agent can reflect on itself, checking if all the steps are done at least six times, because we are going to give six different tasks. And here we are going to assign the tool that is run terminal tool, as you can see here, run terminal tool and providing that here. 
Similarly, save to file tool. Step number three, creating task for the agent. So coming back to the file, creating complex task for various system operations. So I'm providing six different tasks, get system information, list five running process and sort them by CPU usage, check disk space, display current system load, list five network connections, and finally create a summary report with all findings and save that in systemreport.txt. Do it step by step, one task at a time. Save only the summary report in the file. So I'm providing a complex task which involves multiple steps and you can keep on adding it. The agent is going to perform the task for you. So this is just an example. Finally, putting it all together using Prezen AI agents, here listing the agent and the task and the process is sequential. And finally, agents.start, that's it. So the key difference is that we are mentioning the number of time the agent need to reflect on its own response. That adds the reasoning ability for the agent. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now it's going to the first step. So here's the command output. So based on that, it's generating me the first response and then the second task, running the command for that and getting the task list. You can see all the commands it's running. That is super cool. Now it's facing with, with an error and now it's redoing its steps because of the error it faced. And finally, I got the summary report. So here is the reasoning step. So one of the tasks is to list the running processes sorted by CPU usage and the output includes top five processes. So the message is satisfactory. But there is one more task. The disk space usage was successfully checked but does not clearly list directories over 10 GB. So that is not satisfactory. So it's trying to run the code again. And finally, it saved the system report.txt file with all the information. That is really nice. Next, I want to show you three different agents, Web Scraper, URL Data Extractor, and the Blog Writer. So for web scraping, we are going to write Python code, but we are not going to write. AI agents are going to write that. And to extract data from the URL, even that Python code is going to be written by AI agent. So to run the Python code, we are going to use a service called e2b.dev. So you might need to go to their website and then generate the API key. And in your terminal, export e2b API key and put the API key here. And after that, click enter. Next, pip install Prezen AI and e2b code interpreter and then click enter. Creating a file called app2.py. And inside that, we are going to do these three steps as before. Creating tools. That is the E2B tool to run the Python code. Then creating agents, those three agents and three different tasks and assign those tasks to those agents. So the first tool is code interpreter tool. So just describing what the tool is about and this sandbox.run code will automatically run any Python code passed in here and returns the result. That's all it does. So these are extra checks just to run it more securely but this is the only line required to run any Python code in e2b.dev and just returning the results. That is step number one. Step number two, creating three different agents. One is web scraper agent. We are going to scrape URLs from this URL and here is the page. So it contains quotes and we are going to scrape this page with these quotes and also our agent going to navigate through these links and extract data even from those pages, collect all the information, and finally the last agent will write a blog post based on all the scraped content. So here's the web scraper agent for extracting URLs, and then URL data extractor agent to extract data from each individual URL, and then third blog writer agent to write the blog based on the previous provided data. And for each of this, mainly for web scraper agent and URL data extractor agent, we need the code interpreter tool. That is just this function. And the third step is creating task. So first is URL extraction task. Extract five URLs from the page to keep this tutorial short. Then outputs them as a list and it's going to output the file in urls.txt. So all these URLs will get saved in this urls.txt. Next, task number two for the data extraction task. It's going to write the Python code using the code interpreter tool to extract the data. Even for the previous task URL extraction, it's going to use the code interpreter, create the Python code, run it, and then get the URLs. 
So everything is dynamic. We are not doing anything. And the final blog writing task, write an engaging blog post using the extracted quotes data and giving five different condition. It's going to save that in blogpost.txt. So if you note, there is something called context. So I'm providing the output from the task URL extraction to this next task. So it gets the information from the previous task. Similarly, I'm giving the final task data extraction output to this blog writing task. And finally, we are going to put all the agents together, all the tasks together, process hierarchical, so that there will be a manager large language model to control all those agents. And finally, agents.start. By default, all these agents will have self-reflection. Even the manager LLM will monitor all these agents. So if any issue happens, the manager LLM can steer these agents in the right direction. If the tasks done by any of these agents are complex, then you can add the additional reasoning by mentioning max reflect and min reflect. So minimum two and maximum five. You can increase this if the task is getting more complicated. But for now, I'm going to leave as this. At the end, agents.start. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, Python app2.py and then click enter. Now the manager LLM is guiding the task. So first step is to scrape the page and get all the URLs. So here it wrote the Python code and then it ran using E2B. As you can see, it's going to this path. Then here's the reflection that is AA agent reasoning itself. So totally five URLs extracted. So that is satisfactory because that's what we asked for. Now it goes to the next agent using all the URLs. It wrote the code, it ran the code and it got the output. That is the data from each individual URL. I can even tell the agent to skip all these login pages if required. But for now, I'm just going to keep as it is. And finally, to the third agent, that is a blog writer agent, and is writing the blog now, based on the quotes it read before. That is brilliant. And finally, the output got saved in a file called blogpost.txt. So if I open it, and here you got the full blog article, based on the quotes it read on those pages. And I'm really excited about this. Do try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. And I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. Considering you already like praising AI agents, I've also created another beginner's tutorial in regards to self-reflection AI agents, which I highly recommend for you to watch. And I'll put the link in here and I will see you there.